Lex, nice to catch up with you here in Jeju. Tell us about your year so far. You've been having quite a good year yourself. Yeah, um, stream has been going amazing, uh, which is always kind of the most important thing for me um, because in the end, poker is what it is. I do as well as I can, and some days I lose and some days I win. But uh, the stream has been going amazing, and I've been running really, really hard. So um, when those two things happen at the same time, it's, it's fantastic. So it's just the, the days fly by, and uh, I'm just enjoying it. And is it even sweeter because last year was a, a tough one for you? Yeah, definitely. But the thing that I keep reminding myself is that I think that last year was the best year of my career in terms of where I am, uh, progress that I've made, goals that I've set and reached. So if that's my best year, then pretty much every year is a free roll from now on because if poker's good, fantastic, it could be better. And if it's the same, then I can still like push out a really reasonable year. So. You know, along the along the way, I kind of lost that pressure a little bit, lost uh, lost the annoyance with it a little bit. And looking forward to this week, we're here in Jeju for another Triton event. These are exciting. You were telling me that you love these events. Yeah, it really gives me that old school high stakes feel. Uh, all the shows that you saw on TV, of course, you know, you see Tom Dwan here, you see Phil Ivey, uh, all those guys. You know, they, they haven't been that much in the in the Western scene anymore, but. Here you see them and it's this very relaxed atmosphere where people laugh at each other when they lose $400,000 pots and people get bluffed and everybody laughs at them. It's, it's kind of what you hope poker uh, will be like uh, when you watch it. And last year I was just mesmerized doing commentary on it and just from a poker fan perspective I watched it too. So it's like the easiest gig in the world, honestly. I always thought it was less personable than it was. I thought there would be this huge culture gap that where um, you sit at the table and you're kind of isolated or you're in an island and you don't speak the language, you don't know the culture and you know you just live in your hotel room and you go down for the occasional high stakes game but like I couldn't have been more wrong that's not not at all what it's like you know a lot of these guys are friends and uh, they talk a lot and there's you know people get really pulled in into the game and you're, you're really part of the crew when uh, when you play these games regularly and that's really cool to see because that's something I never expected. And what is it that makes that atmosphere, that makes that happen? Is it the fact that the players that we all know, the American players and the European players, just like to show off in front of some of the Asian players? Why do we have the great, you know, the banter is back and the table talk is back? I think it really is the dynamic at the table. I don't think that anybody's trying to show off for anybody, but this is really like a, you have to give action to get action uh, kind of game and kind of scene. And I think that you see that back a lot. You know, if people are drinking, having fun, and they're they're firing, and then you know they ask you if you want to have a drink or something. That's kind of the moment where you're like, well, actually, you know what? I would like a drink. Like nobody's forced out of side their comfort zone, but it's really like a, a relaxed, safe environment for all that stuff. And I feel that. Um, the action just creates more action and it, it's impossible to stay extremely calm in a game like this when sometimes people really don't care, they just put you to the test. And you've been, as we said, you've had a few wins recently yourself, have you been considering maybe jumping into one of these tournaments? Uh, the, to be really honest, like these tournaments are too crazy for me, so uh, no. I mean, there's some of the smaller ones, like I could play 10k or possibly like a 20k, but my job is streaming, my job isn't necessarily playing poker. So um, I always have to make sacrifices and choices towards streaming. So whenever I make a trip, it's going to be for commentary. Great. Well, we look forward to hearing the commentary this week. And uh, yeah, let's have a good one. All right. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.